Hey guys, good morning. Yes, Ted Bogert is here at 9.30 in the morning. Welcome back to the Ted Show. We're here today to talk about an amazing workshop that these two young ladies have put on and that uh, we are helping to sponsor Beyond Selfies and Glamour Shots, Realtor Image and Branding 20 in 2022. I have Yvonne Sandoval and Aaron Kamazadeh. Kamazadeh. <laughs> um, they are both here. They are putting on this workshop. It's exciting. It's new, and I'm excited to be part of it. Welcome, ladies. How are you this morning? Fantastic. Thanks for having us. Yes, thank you. Of course. I. Um, it's been a long time since I did a 930 show, so I am um, going to figure out if I can do this. No, I'm seriously, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about the topic. I think it's fresh. Uh, some of the things that you were sharing with me, Vaughn, that you all are going to do is it's just really exciting stuff. But before we take a deep dive into that, tell them a little bit about yourselves. We'll start with you, Erin. So I'm Erin Kamal today with your business photographer. I specialize in headshots, business branding and real estate photography. Um, I've been specializing in that for about eight years and I work specifically with realtors, business owners and professionals. And I'm also a drone operator as well for real estate listings. Very cool. All right. How about you, Yvonne? Oh, well, it's just me. Um, so I, I'm the owner of Leverage 365. We work with real estate agents only to help them to stay top of mind with their database of contacts through multiple modes of communication. So, um, this is going to be really exciting for both Aaron and I, because we've, been working together for a, a little while now, and um, I'm just really excited to bring her, um, you know, into the fold and let her tell everyone about the things that they need to get their image, you know, uh, seen and and understood and and useful in their business. Love it, and I I, I think there's so many things about this particular topic that I love uh, selfies fascinating little world we live in with selfies uh glamour shots uh you know we joke about this all the time how some of you, some of y'all have not changed your uh realtor picture on your card since the 80s maybe 90s uh and so the but branding and imaging is so important uh, and it's become even more important i know those are buzzwords but it, it is a reality and so if you're not thinking of yourself as a brand and then you're not putting out the right image you can be damaging your opportunities. So let's talk about the workshop itself. Tell us what, to give us a little hint or a sneak peek. What are we going to see next Tuesday? Well, uh, one of the things we'll be discussing are first impressions. Um, they're made within a tenth of a second and online it's made in like 50 milliseconds. So people are immediately deciding if they want to work with you based on what images you're putting online. So to not make that investment and to not make that time to do that, it's detrimental to your company. Yes, very much so. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, but with Erin being, you know, behind the camera, it's, we're going to talk about the, the importance of that. What does that really mean? Um, is it you know, part of our presentation is going to go into what's really making something what it is? Is it the person in front of the camera? Is it the person behind the camera? Is it a combination of both? And what is that message that the two parties are trying to present? Um, we really are going to deep dive into that importance of your image, um, your image, not only that you're going to own your image because right now your image you are allowing it to be peddled by zillow and realtor.com you're letting other third parties take over um, who you are and you're not controlling that so we're going to talk about how to control that how to take back your power um and that's really important because Literally, you are your brand, which is what we put right on our flyer. The, there couldn't be more of a powerful image when people, and I know Erin has this happen to her as well, during a photo shoot or in, with me with the marketing campaigns that we do, people ask us, you know, to brand them. And in all honesty, we don't brand people. 
we bring people to the forefront. So you are your brand. Now, what is that message? We're going to cultivate that and we're going to bring that to the world in multiple modes. Um, but you're, it all starts with your image. So I can't do well, let's, any marketing. Let's talk that. about it. Let me ask you about that, Yvonne, because we've had many, many, many conversations about this. Uh, and since we're talking in the realtor space, let, I'll use realtors as an example. Um, what do you say to a realtor who says, no, nah, I'm good. My social media is great. Um, I posted a few just listed, just sold uh, key pictures, you know, my pet peeve. Uh, so what do you say to people who say, well, that's that's my brand. What's wrong with that? Well, I let Aaron take the uh, the reins on the pictures when it comes to, especially the, the just sold and the just listed. Aaron, what is t for you the, your pet peeve of those photos that we're seeing? What is it that people are doing wrong and how can they do better? So my theme always is less is more. Nobody wants to see what kind of car you're driving or what you hope to drive. Nobody wants to see you vacationing while you're working. Like that doesn't, that's not professional. I know you're trying to tell a story, but you really have to step back and think about what story are you trying to tell and what kind of client are you trying to attract? So if you look back and look at the clients you're working and working with, and sometimes you're like, oh, maybe that wasn't the best client for me. Why, how did they get to you and why did you work with them? Right. So, um, you know, and as you get a better flow, those right clients will attract to you, but you have to create that image or, you know, um, embrace the image really, because it's you, you're your brand and it'll just all fall into place. But less is more. I could not say that enough. And um, that goes to real estate listings, everything. Less is more. What? Absolutely. I don't, you know, I, don't, I can't post every meal I, I, um, I have <laughs> no. there's a you know I just I want to clarify because there is there's you have your you have a personal page you have a business page hopefully um your personal page is your thing express yourself if that's what you want to do but I think we see a lot of that mesh together because people don't want to take the time to separate them and they don't realize how impactful that can be if they have something that's specific toward attracting business and then you've got your whole friend group and the friends. If you want to post every meal, every workout, every run, go for it on the personal page. But trying what, to combine the two is a challenge, I think. Absolutely. And what we're finding, um, Aaron and I both, is we're coming across a lot of agents who are doing these lifestyle shoots. And these lifestyle shoots is something we're going to absolutely be talking about. Um, at this class, uh, this workshop, because we have some opinions on that. And I, we're going to tell you. <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind. We're going to tell you um, what our opinions are, and we're going to tell you why our opinions are the way they are. These lifestyle shoots, um, something I told Erin, there are, in my opinion, is, is that there are people who are salespeople and photographers second. And then there's some people who are photographers and then salespeople secondary. Yeah. So if somebody is selling you a package of something and there's no rhyme or reason or purpose that you can use it in your marketing, then that's a really good salesperson. I kind of want to hire them because um, I'm seeing a lot of people with lifestyle packages and literally walking away with not one headshot that's usable for that's business. Cool. So we're going to talk about, photographers, what what their role is, um, you giving you the heads up of what to ask for in your photographer, with the things that the checklist that you need to walk away with um, of items that will help you in your marketing. So because you don't know, you're being led by the person that you chose to be your photographer right. and you trust that person. And I have no problem with that. I think that's awesome. But let's make sure that you do walk away with things that are, you, you can use. And we're going to talk about that in the workshop. All right, so let's let's give them the details. Um, what what is the what date is the workshop? Which I already mentioned, it's next Tuesday. But give them the four one one, and then how they can register. 
So it's going to be the 22nd Tuesday, uh, which is uh, coming up really shortly. So make sure you get your, your register. It's at 10 a.m. at the Citrus Club. It is the debut of this class, which is brand new from start to finish. And it is going to be a, a combination presentation with, with Aaron and myself pointing out from everything from marketing of your image to the physical taking of your image. And then, of course, the marketing of the properties and how to do all of this at a high level. Um, so join us at 10 a.m. Citrus Club next Tuesday, the 22nd. And this is a free event, thankfully, due to our, our wonderful sponsors who are, um, you know, just a community of people who are helping the realtors to build their businesses. So come out and see us on the 22nd at 10 a.m. Yes, and I will uh, put the Eventbrite link in the comments after the show, but you can obviously reach out to Aaron, Yvonne, or myself, and we will direct you to that Eventbrite link. You can search Beyond Selfies on Facebook, and I guarantee you it'll come up, and then the Eventbrite link is in there. Uh, thank you so much. I'm really excited. You know, one, one question I'm going to save for then is I'm going to ask you your opinion about this whole thing where people are pretending to bend down or, or go low to the ground. Have you seen this yet? Uh, where they, uh, they all are looking at the camera and then all of a sudden they go down like this. I'll have to show you. It is this trend that I'm seeing a lot of realtors do. And yes, it's funny, um, but probably not for the reasons that they want it to be. And I'll just leave it at that. So wait. thank you guys so much. Have thank a great so one. Register this. Our real, this is open to our realtor partners and friends, anybody that is a realtor who would like to attend, please register. We will see you next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Thank you both. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right.